Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this do-it-yourself laundry room sign. I wanted to put something in my laundry room but not pay an arm and a leg for it. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to do. So this sign right here I got from At Home, which used to be Garden Ridge. And I liked it because it matches the theme color of our house, which is like white, gray, and black. And also I like it because it's got these clothes pins on it and I thought that was pretty cute because it's kind of like, you know, laundry clothes pins back in the day. And then I got these letters that I'm just going to glue on there and I got these from Michaels and they were really cheap. So the sign was $17.99 and then the letters were 99 cents each, but they were also like, I think on sale for like 20% off. So it was a really good deal. The glue I got was this Aileen's Tacky Glue. I also got this at Michael's. So we're gonna see how this turns out. First I'm going to align the letters where I think I want them to go. Okay, so as you can see, it took me a few tries to kind of get it where I want it to be. So now I'm going to go ahead and start gluing the letters on. I'm glad that I did like a test run before starting to glue to make sure that I liked the way it was. So I have my L on and what I like about this glue is like it has a little, little wiggle room so you can move it around a little bit. It doesn't like dry immediately. So if you need to try to move it just a little bit to make your project perfect, you can. guys I'm not actually putting more glue on when you see me go like this after I squeeze the amount of glue I want I'm just kind of spreading it around with the tip now I'm just gonna look at it and make sure it's even and where I want it to be I'm just gonna take a measuring tape and measure the bottom portions just to make sure they seem to be aligned I like to do this. It helps me a lot better than just like eyeballing. Okay guys, so there it is. I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. So I'm gonna let the glue dry and I'll come back and let you guys know how long it took for it to dry. Okay, so I let the glue sit for about two to three hours and it was completely dry. I wasn't able to move around the letters anymore. So this is the finished product and I really love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.